Hi guys, it's Rune, the math person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this video, I'll be going over question 107 on SR exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, as soon as you already turned to it, let's just dive right in. So X denotes the surgical claims and Y denotes the associated hospital claims, right? And they say that C1 is equal to X plus Y, but then we also know C2 is equal to upcharge on the hospital portion of the claim. So that's going to be equal to X just is normal, but then Y is going to be more expensive by 20%. So that's going to be 1.2 times Y, because if you just do times 0.2, that's making it smaller than the original one, and we want it to be bigger. So this is what it's equal, and then we're asked to find the calculation covariance of C1 and C2. So covariance of C1 and C2. So this is equal to the covariance of just plugging this in x plus y comma x plus 1.2y. Do you agree? And this is kind of like a, um the foiling rule where you want to just make sure you take care. Of, this is equal to the covariance of x and x x x and a covariance of x and this second value here, so that's going to be equal to covariance of x and 1.2y. And then likewise, you can do the same for y here, so that's going to be covariance of y and x. And then last, lastly, right here, that's going to be equal to covariance of y comma 1.2y. And the cool thing about th these are that the covariance of x comma x is just the same thing as variance of x because covariance again measures the relationship between two variables and if it's the same variable it's just basically just going to be variance of x and likewise this one right here we can actually pull out the 1.2 because it's a constant so it's going to be 1.2 covariance of x and y plus covariance of y and x and right here we can factor out the 1.2 out and again, same thing, covariance of y comma y is just going to be the variance of y. So this is what we get. And we also can put these two together because x and y and y and x, when you're talking about covariance, which is a relationship be between these two variables, it's going to, it's interchangeable. So we can finally simplify this to 2.2, right? Because there's like an invisible one in front of this. 2.2 covariance of x and y plus 1.2 variance of y plus variance of x. Okay, so we don't really know what variance of x is, but we know the formula for variance is equal to the second moment minus the first moment squared. So ex squared is equal to 27.4 minus the expectation, which is 5 squared. So this is equal to 2.4. And likewise, variance of y is equal to the second moment of y minus the first moment squared. So the second moment of y is 51.4 and the first moment of y is 7 squared, which is also equal to 2.4. Okay, okay. And then then we, we all we need is a covariance of x and y. We, knew, we, do, we don't know what covariance of x and y is, but we do know this formula, variance of x plus y is equal to the variance of x plus the variance of y plus 2 times the covariance of x and y. If we know that variance of x plus y is equal to 8, we, we are, basically have all the ingredients we need. So 8 is equal to variance of x, which is 2.4, plus um, variance of y, which is 2.4 plus 2 times the covariance of x and y. 4.8, 8 minus 4.8, it's going to be 3.2 is equal to 2 times covariance of x and y. That means the covariance of x and y is just equal to 1.6. Okay, so then we have everything we need. Taking this formula here, variance of x is 2.4 plus 2.2 .2 times the covariance of the two variables, that's 1.6, plus 1.2 times variance of y, variance of y here is going to be 2.4 as well. So then this is equal to 
8.8, .8, which is our answer A. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!